New Jersey Jewish Standard. Okay, so Israel signs deal for 6,000 Chinese workers, but they can't work in settlements. All right, so Israel reportedly needs the laborers in order to provide more housing, thus lowering housing prices by increasing supply. Well, this is a basic tenet or a basic principle of economics. So why doesn't South Africa take 6,000, just for example, I mean, take 20,000 if you want, but 6,000 laborers of its own, people without work, maybe even people who are qualified to build plaster, do plumbing, uh, um, that type of thing, build, building trade people, 6,000 laborers from the unemployed in South Africa, pay them a lesser wage initially, but something that they would be happy to work for in order to put bread on the table and not to be forced into crime to support their families. Pay them a lesser wage, which is obviously what they're doing here, paying these um, 6,000 Chinese laborers lesser wage because they say it will be lowering the housing prices. Now, you can only lower the housing price if the labor is cheaper or if the building material is cheaper. So, building material is not that flexible in terms of pricing. But labor is. So, take 6,000 laborers from South Africa, pay them a lesser wage initially until the project really gets rolling. Let that bring down the housing prices in South Africa, the price to supply houses mm -hmm. to the people, and that will increase the supply, the number of houses provided to the people. And in that way, stimulate the economy and stimulate the provision of houses to the people. Sifuna izindlu, sifuno ugwaka izindlu zetu. Sifuno ugwaka izindlu zenu, zetu, etc., etc. Thank you for listening.